We're going to do this, actually. He's going to go for the tombstone once the hog gets one hit. Watch this log finishes it off. We're going to tornado this away. And now look at all the damage we're going to get with our hog rider. Isn't that awesome? Ew, what's up gamers, it's Turkey here, and today we're gonna be using one of the most skillful decks in all of Clash Royale. And I'm not just saying that as clickbait, Hog Executioner Tornado, AKA the Viper deck, is seriously one of the hardest decks to master in Clash Royale. But one of the best Clash Royale players in the world, Viper, uses this deck and he makes people look like absolute fools. So if you want to get better at the game, you should absolutely play this deck and challenge yourself. It is so much fun and it is actually really, really strong. But the defense can be really tricky because it heavily relies on your use of Tornado and getting lineups with the Executioner. And you also don't have a building and your only big spell is Rocket. I know I might not be selling you this deck, but it's actually really, really strong. It's number three on Royal API right now. It's just really hard to use because not a lot of people know how to use the tornado so that being said i'm so excited to get some games in with this deck it is so much fun to use you absolutely have to try it but that is enough yapping for me let's get into some gameplay all right into our first match of the video here uh once again shout outs to viper french youtuber um really really good with this deck and absolute master class like i said if you want help watch um him play and i think the reason this deck is so strong is because valkyrie net right now is so strong in the meta so i think having valkyrie in your deck is such a good idea all right, so he just went in. I know he has Tesla here, so we're gonna pressure with the Hog Rider. He'll probably be able to get the Tesla down, no problem. But you know, kind of just cycling and taking advantage of our counter push. The good news is we actually have really good answers for the Goblin Drill. Um, okay, let's try and get to our Evo Ice Spirit. Let's go like this. And then kind of saving our Executioner for when we absolutely need it. We're gonna go for the Goblin Surround. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and get our Valkyrie down. Easy defense here. He's not really mixing it up too well. We're going to cycle the log. Make sure that that bomber doesn't shoot on our tower. Okay, he does. Going to do a little rinse and repeat here. Um, can't really do too much about it. I mean, he's ready for it, I'm sure. But <clears throat> Goblin Drill, one of the strongest decks in the meta. Um, for those of you that aren't aware. <laughs> for whatever reason. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to kind of tornado this backwards. Ah. Uh, Failed Tornado, eh? I like the vision. I tried. Um, you know, you kind of have to be creative with this deck in terms of your sources of damage. You can't always go for the orthodox things. Alright. He does have poison here. Okay, let's go like this. Valkyrie is still kind of counter pushing. These goblins are going to do fine on the Evo Goblin Drill. So, we didn't take too much damage, you know, considering we defended Fall it, or we went for that aggressive play. I thought it was going to work, work. It's kind of hard to go for. Um, we're going to get one little shot here. Okay, now he defends. At some point, I might go for the rocket on the Tesla. I see Viper do that. I'm not sure if it's necessarily an advisable play. It's kind of hard to do. But, you know, for the purpose of the video and all that, I might be, I might be tempted to go for it. All right, let's do this. I'm sure he has Evo Tesla in hand, so I don't really expect us to break through in this situation. He fat fingered it. Now's our time to shine. Let's pull back this knight. And let's get this line up. He was BMing too, so this is all the better. Let's hit him back with the same BM he used on us. And now we're kind of inside of rocket range, so that was actually perfect for us. I'm not even going to lie. That was so satisfying. Okay. <laughs> my man was BMing and then misplaced the Tesla. I'd love to see it. Oh my god, is he going to... He gave up. <laughs> no way he gave up after that Tesla. All right, well, that's our first match there. I mean... One push was all that it took to get my man to give up. So we're going to hold that W and get some more gameplay in the next match. We'll see you there. I'm right, into our next match here against this guy. He has a top 50 tournament finish, so I'm sure he knows what he's doing. I'm pretty stoked to see Dagger Duchess. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not horrible. We'll do this, followed by Ice Spirit, just to kind of maybe jump on anything. And he misplaced his Tesla. That's actually crazy to have a top 40 tournament finish, or top 50 tournament fi finish and misplace your Tesla. I'll absolutely take all of the damage I can get. Let's go Valkyrie here to cycle to our Evo one. Wow. That was so unfortunate. Now we're almost inside of rocket cycle range. Let's do this. Then we're going to go Goblins here. Kind of gives him a good poison if he wants to take it. But I still think that would be kind of aggressive because we have the counter pushing Valkyrie. I'm going to do this again. Um, just because he went for that drill. And he can cycle back to a Tesla, so it's fine. But remember, he's running Dagger Duchess, so he's going to be low on daggers here. Great Ice Spirit and man. My man is in a world of hurt right now. Holy damage. Hog Rider just took that dude's whole tower. Oh. 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 Yeah, Valkyrie is my favorite card. Like, I think she's an S-tier card. I think she's one of the S-tier cards that, like, you don't look at her and you're like, oh, she's broken. She's just so good at getting those positive trades. All right, we're going to cycle a log. You know, start, you know, getting chip onto the tower. Executioner early. 
one of the best answers to Little Prince because it gets a nice lineup when it pops the ability. Depending on if it gets pushed out of the way or not. Okay, Void, not a bad answer from him. Actually, does get one swing though, which is nice. Valkyrie will clean all of this up. Yep, easy peasy. Okay, let's do this and then pressure with the hogs. If he goes in for a poison, he's gonna lose his tower. It's really important with this deck to know when to pressure and when not to. And yeah, he just lost, he sacked his tower for that. So, was it worth it? Probably not, to be honest with you. Honestly, because of the matchup, I really don't see how we lose to Goblin Drill. If it was Golem or something, I would say maybe, but we're just so good against Goblin Drill. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save you some time, and we'll cut to the last minute of the video. I'll see you there. Yep, so uh, we did end up winning, so GG's to that guy. We'll hold that W and catch you in the next match. Right up here against Ayu. And I feel like I could geek out about this deck all day. Like, it is so cool. It is so hard to play. The micro placements are so important when you run this deck. Like, where you place the Executioner, making sure you get card lineups is, like, fundamental to this deck. Like, against the Night Witch, right? You want to make sure that you're getting your Executioner lined up. If there's one card you don't want to cycle in this deck, it is definitely the uh, Executioner. You need to be really careful how you play that. And guess what I don't have in cycle? My Executioner. Let's do this. I'm sure he's going to go for arrows. Then we're going to go for the Xe. Gonna go I don't even need to go Xe NATO, I don't think. I'll do it just to make sure this stays off of my tower. That's what I'm talking about. Really utilizing that Executioner as strongly as possible. I could do a lot of things here. I'm just going to wait, actually. I'm going to bide my time. Executioner should get, like, one shot. Okay, he, he does that, which is really intelligent. Okay, we're going to go Goblins in the back. Okay, now I'll take the rocket. Oh, holy rocket. Bye-bye. And a Valkyrie like this, just to kind of block the rest of these goblins. Evo Ice Spirit will do really good on defense. Log just to minimize the amount of damage that we take. Nice, nice, very nice. And we're going to get an influx of Elixir here. Uh, we're going to go for the Hog Rider as well. Valkyrie's going to do a, a great job tanking. This deck doesn't run a building, so... I'm going to do this. Kind of pull it away from my Hog Rider. That might have been worth it if... She didn't walk back towards the hog, but she walked back towards the hog anyway. So maybe not my best play, but the idea was there. I see um, Viper do that. We'll he'll pull stuff away from the hog rider with the tornado. So, eh. We really shouldn't struggle against this deck. I mean, we have immaculate answers for Elixir Golem. So, like, oh my gosh, the Executioner and the Evo Wizard. I think when you do defenses, you want to cycle your Xe first, and then you can kind of control where you place your Valkyrie. Anything he spams behind this, I'm, I'm really just going to rock it. Valkyrie going to do a great job on defense here. She's uh, she's amazing. And Valkyrie, we trust. Okay. She's kind of slacking at the moment, but that's okay. And look at that uh, Executioner lineup over there. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to take this rocket. Ooh, Evo Skeletons. Oopsie. Oh my gosh, my man. If there's one matchup this guy didn't want to face, I feel like it's got to be this one. Okay, hog, let's get this rocket. Oh my gosh, what a rocket too. Oh man, just to add insult to injury. Okay, we're inside of two rockets, and my man definitely hating his life right now. We're gonna get Executioner like this. Maybe get ready for a NATO lineup. Evil Ice Spirit will just kind of keep it in its place. We're gonna do this, and tornado it backwards. And tornado the wizard forward. Beautiful tornado there. And my man, he's not breaking through. Let's be honest. Let's do this. And we're gonna... Uh, I was gonna go for a pre-rocket, but not really gonna work. That's okay. Actually, like this. Bang, bang. Niner gang. I'm still gonna rocket here. I know that the wizard has the shield, but it's still worth it, I feel like. Um, okay. Valkyrie decided to walk away. We hate that. This game actually, uh, it's kind of getting kind of scary. So let's do this. We're going to bum rush him, and there's no way that he defends this. So GG's most likely. We're going to tornado this all back and uh, clean up this W. So GG's to that player. Did we play it perfect? No, but we got the W, and that's what matters. So we're going to hold that W and catch you in the next match. In our next match of the video against Gianni. Honestly, I feel like I'm getting better as the video goes on because, like, this is not my main deck, and I'm... I make a lot of videos and it's like max skill, but I am not lying when I say that this deck is, it's hard to play. Like it's hard to play well. I feel like every time I play, I make mistakes. So shout outs to Viper for, you know, constructing this deck and even like 
just the fact that he even plays this deck legit is like so impressive to me. Tornado is such an important part of the defense. You don't have a building, so like that's kind of how you have to defend big pushes. So good defense there. Executioner in the back, Valkyrie in front, Tornado. I'm cool with that. Okay, yeah, could go for prediction arrows. We'll have our hog rider ready just in case he goes for it. No, okay, fair enough. Actually, gonna do fine. I mean, I don't know what that goblin curse was. I guess we'll get one goblin from it. That doesn't really do anything. Alright, let's do this before he can uh, afford a prince or anything like that. Yeah, firecracker's fine. Ice Spirit doesn't jump, but we're going to get three shots, I think? No, only two. Debating going for a King Tower activation, but I don't really have... Oh, never mind. We're going to go for it. Let's do this. Once Firecracker shoots, we're going to go Goblins to take care of the rest of the Firecracker. I'm just kind of like pull this away from my tower. Yeah, that's fine. We already had the King Tower activated, but I didn't want <coughs> all of that damage going to my Princess Tower. So I'm pretty satisfied with that defense. It worked out okay. Maybe I should have gone Valkyrie high. I don't know. I think I'm fine. Fine with that situation. Okay. Interesting Prince. I feel like I would have saved it for the Hog Rider myself. Uh, Ice Spirit here. Just to jump onto everything. Maybe not everything, but onto those two cards. Okay, let's go in here. Valkyrie's going to tank for one shot. I can Tornado in the troops that he plays. Accidental King Tower activation. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> Oops. Is what it is. Executioner close to your tower like this to help get a lineup. Ice Spirit as well, just to freeze these. And I don't need I don't need to go for goblins in this situation. I mean I do now because he prints, so we'll do this just to keep my Valkyrie healthy. Okay. And again, he doesn't have a building either, so like it's not like this is the easiest for him to defend. <coughs> Gonna do this just to get a nice little NATO lineup. Executioner wants more, and honestly, pretty pretty solid game i think he shouldn't have played his princes the way that he was playing them like he was playing them like proactively if he used it reactively on the hog it would have been much harder to defend good piece of advice is protect the executioner he's so fundamental in your defense so keeping him alive is paramount but that's an easy w I'll catch you in the next match all right into our next match here against boots <coughs> okay boots and the one thing about this deck is I respect people who use this deck. 100%. When I see someone running the Viper deck, they never deserve BM. I'm like, alright, you guys are real ones. You guys are playing one of the hardest decks in the game. This guy might be playing Fireball Bait. Okay, Tombstone. Let's do this, because it'll line up with everything. I feel like that NATO was actually like necessary, to be completely honest. So That's kind of why we went for it. Because otherwise, the Zappies would have popped off. Okay, so Mortar, Minor Mortar, pretty common deck, I'm not going to lie. Weird that he has Tombstone in it. He's got the Mortar double building. If you time the Log Well on the Tombstone, you can actually finish off the building and all of the skeletons. So I'll try and show that interaction shortly. Yeah, so get ready. So we're going to do, we're going to do this actually. He's going to go for the Tombstone. Once the Hog gets one hit, watch this Log finishes it off. We're going to Tornado this away. And now, look at all the damage we're going to get with our Hog Rider. Isn't that awesome? I love that play. I'm going to Ice Spirit to continue to distract the Mortar once the Valkyrie kind of like... Yeah, you can see the Mortar is locked onto the Ice Spirit there. Valkyrie didn't get the, the the last swing that I needed it to. We're going to go exit here just to get one shot and finish off the mortar. Oh! We missed the lineup. That sucks. That would have worked, but uh, we missed the lineup. Anyways, that was a cool little play. We're going to add, add that one to your playbooks. <clears throat> we have goblins in hand for mortar. We're going to pretty much log uh, the tombstone every time. Like, that's always worth it. Don't quite react fast enough. I could have activated king towers there, there as well. That might have been a good play, but... We don't. All right, let's go in here. You ready for the tombstone? All right, again, always doing this because it makes sense. It's such a good, it's such a good interaction for us. Like, why would we not do that? You know. Executioner low this time, and honestly, just rocketing this is the best move. Evil mortar for sure. It's like you just want to rocket it. Like, why would you not? You know. Okay. Let's do this. Have our log ready for tombstone. Hog rider needs to get a hit. 
perfectly timed that time. That was a really good timing on it. Zappy is just making our life hell, though. Shoutouts to Zappies. Okay, bold strategy, Cotton, on that uh, Ice Spirit, I suppose. Goblins to tank for the flying machine. Not a bad log. Nice, huge. That's going to be a good game. We can't defend this, so. Good game to this guy. Um, I think we played it pretty well. I'm happy with how we played it. So that's a clean W. We'll hold it. Catch you in the next match. All right, into our next match here against the Frog. 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 Honestly, after playing this deck for as long as I have, which has been about 30 minutes, I low key might want to like main this deck. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't know how to play against this deck. Like, I mean, when I watch Viper play, it's like they low key like struggle. Let's do this. We'll hit everything. We missed the wizard. W rocket. That's a dirty rocket right there. If you if you watch my Twitch, you know exactly what I mean. Or my streams. As a consequence of missing that rocket, we have to eat the wizard. It's the price that we pay. It's going to be like damn near a third of our tower. So the idea for the rocket was there. This is an okay mother witch. The only reason I say that is because like a lot of times with the mother witch, you want the surprise factor. Of like, oh, I have a mother witch. But uh, that's kind of out the window when you just play at the bridge. I don't know if it's worth it for two piggies. If I had bats or something, I would have said like, yeah, like go for that. All right. Let's do this. It's kind of the best option I have, I feel. No! I wanted it in the other lane, but that's okay. All right, so good good punish for the pump. I mean, he lost his entire tower. Can we defend? Probably not. Maybe with the good rocket. Wow, we defended that. That's kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. I want to do this because if the hog takes the tower, it'll also do damage to the pump. Well, in theory. Okay, so he does have a little bit of an elixir advantage here. Because he has the pump up. I kind of have to do this because he has the evil wizard down. Alright, can we defend an eagle on push? Probably not. <laughs> No, I think I miss. Defensive hog rider. <laughs> yes, yes, we're crazy. Defensive hog rider for the W? Just keep spamming, just keep spamming, just keep spamming, spamming, spamming. What do you do when you're going to lose? Spam the bridge and hope it works. Don't let me lose like this. W defense. We're cracked. All right. GG's. <laughs> Honestly, going in when he went for the pump, I think, was what won us the game. And solid defense. So, well played to us. Got a little sketchy at the end. We'll hold that W. Catch you in the next one. All right. Into, likely, our last match of the video. We'll see. I mean, even if we lose, I'll probably keep it in. I've been trying to do, be better about keeping losses and, you know, keeps things interesting. It's always nice to end on a win, but you can't always do that. And uh, if you've made it this far, just know how much I appreciate you. You know, I have about a thousand people that watch a video every time I publish it, which is a lot. You know, I, I am grateful for that. So if you take, you know, the time out of your days to watch me and watch my videos, just know how grateful I am for you. Um, and yeah, just thank you. That's all. Okay. We're going to get one hit here. No, we're not. Okay, looks like he's running Giant Graveyard. Whenever you see Mother Witch and Snowball, like 99% of the time, it's Giant Graveyard. So, decent matchup depending on how we play it. Kind of depends on some of his support cards as well. So, we'll see. I'll probably just let this Executioner go. Like, I don't want to be too overzealous. Um, I've definitely made that mistake in the past and gotten punished for it. I could have gone for a Tornado lineup, but again, just trying not to be too, too aggressive with some of these defenses, to be honest. I wonder if I could go for a King Tower activation. I've seen people do this. All right, so let's go Valkyrie and then NATO this in. And I should get a King Tower activation. I only go for that because against Giant Graveyard, it's like really strong. But now we are down a little bit of Elixir. 
just wasted those bats though. All right, I don't want to go in here because I'm down elixir. We did get the King Terror activated, so if he goes in for the giant graveyard, um, we'll live, maybe. Yeah, okay, let's get the lineup here with the Axie. Okay. No NATO in hand, but again, this Axie lineup is so paramount. Goblins to keep my Axie alive, Valkyrie to pull back the giant. King Tower gonna pay dividends if he chooses to go in for the graveyard. Easy defense for him if he goes for like a bowler or something. Yeah. But if I pull the bowler back, like this, maybe we can get a nice lineup onto the tower. Nice. Good NATO. I mean, we only get one shot. So, was it worth it? Maybe not. But we're looking good. We're looking good from a magic perspective. You know, getting that King Tower activated, I think, was huge. I'm actually going to go for a defensive Hog Rider. Just to eat the two bowler shots. Okay. Let's get the Executioner down. Wow. Could go for a rocket, but I'm going to just be careful. Um... And not be overzealous here. I'm not going to act like I predicted that. But, um... We lived. Okay, nice. Really, really, really great defense. I'm sure he's going to be ready here with the bowler. Yeah. It is what it is. I might need to start going for rockets on the bowler, honestly. I'm going to do that and try and hit the tower as well. Um, I don't know if we hit the tower. We did hit the tower. Okay, we're Gucci. And again, like... We're just looking really, really strong. Nice. The fundamentals of this defense are really, really good. Really, really good. We're only two rockets away now, and it's so hard for him to like. He's just trying to shove his giant down my throat. Pause. Um, and it just is hard for him. That's all. King Tower activation is going to help out here. I don't need to go crazy. So you can look. The King Tower pays dividends in terms of the defense, and because he went for the offensive bowler, it will be difficult for him to stop this push. It feels like because again. He uh, used, we're going to Nada whatever he plays backwards, and that's going to be GG. No bowler in hand. GG's to Nova. Pretty bad matchup for him, or at least we made it look that way. So we're going to hold that W and catch you in the outro. And that's going to do it for today's video. Here's the deck one more time in, in case you want to take a screenshot. I will also put the deck link in the YouTube description so you can just copy it into Clash. Please give this deck a try. It's really fun. It is hard. Don't get discouraged. Like, I think this the learning curve of this deck is steeper than lots of the other videos that I make. But it's really, really strong. Also, shout outs to Viper. You know, go check out his YouTube as well if you want to learn more about this deck. He's definitely way better uh, than I am with this deck. So shout outs to him. Shout outs to the French. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit and I hope to see you in another video real soon. Peace.